up, what up, what up? Hey man, look here now. So, I wanted to give you a uh, uh, update on the rentals. So, <clears throat> driving home right now from showing a rental here in uh, Gilbert, Arizona. This is what I do, man. I'm all over the valley. It doesn't matter where it's at. I'm trying to show it. But anyway, uh, I did a video already before on, you know, the pros and cons of rentals. But now I got a live update. I closed the rental, um, I don't know, maybe a month ago or so. That was one of the ones I was doing in Gilbert. And I just did another one just this Saturday and then working on, on some more. But the check that I got, and this is only, you know, supplies to, to my situation. Um, every situation is gonna be different depending on how you, you pay your broker. Um, maybe you're paying up front, so the whole check is yours. I'm doing uh, a certain kind of split. Um, so the amounts come out a little bit different. But I got a check for a rental. It's only 250. It's not gonna make you rich. Um, that's why I was saying like, yo, you're, you're gonna be driving around, doing a lot of driving sometimes for like a month or two, three months, four months, you never know. Try to find somebody a rental depending on their, their time frame. Usually the rentals that I get, the time frame is within a month or two. So I'm not driving around for a long time. But even still, I did that rental, got them the place, went and picked up the check. You know, out of the 250, I got 160. Um, so like I said, it's not gonna make you rich, but imagine if you were closing like four or five of these uh, a month or, or maybe more, you know, say you're doing like 10 and you're closing 10 rentals a month. It is a little bit of work, but at least you're gonna make money to sustain the driving, the, the gas, and, uh, whatever else you needed to do at that, that, uh, that time. But what you wanna do though is, is make sure that you have some uh, home buyers in between that time, man. Uh, if you're doing them rentals, that's fine and dandy. You're gonna make money on that. Uh, I don't know how much you're gonna make. They vary. I had some that were $500. I had some that were 250. You know, for whatever reason, the ones that I was showing today, were like 150, 100, 200. They were a lot smaller than uh, the other ones that I've been doing. Um, but it all just depends on the area and it depends on the homeowner, man. And if they want to pay you know, a pretty penny for somebody to come and move into their place, and you know, those would be the ones that you get $500. But anyways, I just wanted to say, you know, mine was 250, I got 160 out of it. Uh, worked this deal, it's about an hour away from where I live, but I worked that deal for almost two months, and that's what you get out of there, man. So, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to be only doing rentals. You, you want to still continue to try to work on leasing, not leasing, uh, listing, and finding uh, homes. You know, you want to find a home for your buyer. So, hey, just keep at it. Stay strong. Again, like I said, I got a few in the works for rentals, but that's not that's not going to make me the money that I'm looking for. So I'm going to keep at it. It's, it's not even been a year yet that I've been doing this and I'm still rocking it man I got two home sales that are in the works right now two new builds and then I got another one that hopefully you know coming from out of town uh, that they're gonna get one but I don't know that they're debating on whether they want to do a rental or they want to buy but yeah, I'm still at it man hey y'all be cool man it's 20 uh, 2018 May 21st, let's make it. Let's make it.